Good morning, everyone. Dr. Victoria Scrubbo here, speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is the 4th of November, and it is a um, Wednesday, uh, or the 5th of November and a Thursday. If you're in Australia and New Zealand, we have a beautiful, sort of chilly, clear, bird-filled morning here at the Seeds. We can hear the birds making a racket. I think there was just a new um, sort of batch of um, uh, sparrows that were born uh, recently, and they're now coming out of their nest. <laughs> uh, sparrows are symbolic of the common folk, of the common folk. And, uh, you know, we are, <laughs> well, I am a common folk. <laughs> there could be a couple of people out there watching me who are not. Uh, but I have to imagine that most of the people that watch me uh, are common folk <laughs> with common sense and uh, <laughs> and we sometimes look at the world and go what <laughs> so uh, today the moon starts the day in Gemini uh, so there's a versatility to thought uh, Gemini is is very much an energy of flitting from one thing to another it's an energy associated with duality uh, seeing both sides uh, or having both sides exposed simultaneously uh, with Gemini. Gemini is an energy of um, division to a certain extent. And, uh, oh man, there was just a, the birds are crazy this morning. I just saw a cardinal sitting. I, I think you might have seen him, but I'm not sure. I hope you did. He was sitting on top of that uh, that uh, there's a little like shepherd's hook over there. It was right on top of it. What a great morning. Oh my goodness gracious. They are all over the place, flitting about, <laughs> con conversing to one another, very, very Gemini. Um, and then of course, the moon moves into Cancer later today, I think like 4.46 p.m. on the East Coast of the U.S. And so uh, there's a definite shift in our feeling and our emotions. When the moon moves into Cancer, we get much more emotional, actually. So um, we have to keep in mind that Mercury just stationed direct yesterday. Uh, it does take a couple of days for Mercury to move forward to actually like pick up some steam. And um, you know, Mercury is in the sign of justice, in the sign of fairness, uh, in the sign of balance. And so there are things in the balance right now, okay? And we're going to have to be patient about what that's going to mean for us. Um, Saturn, the planet of structure, governmental structure, uh, hierarchy, uh, the, the, the structure of our consciousness in Capricorn uh, right now is making a square to that Mercury. It started, um, was it on Sunday? Uh, it started on the 1st, so if the 1st was Sunday, or maybe it was Monday, I don't know, whenever. It started on the 1st, that I know, uh, here in America. And uh, is in that square, exact pretty much until the 6th, which is Friday of this week. And then it starts to move off of that. And then next week, there's all kinds of big changes and shifts. Now, I say that and I know that. And I have to say, last night, I was pretty... Um, I had a crisis in belief. I had a, I had a spiritual crisis last night. I went to bed, um, kind of astounded about really, quite frankly, how many people voted for Trump. Um, not to say that he's going to win because we don't know that. Um, I still think if, if corruption doesn't rule the day, then I think that uh, we're going to have a different president come uh, January. So I do believe that. Um, 
it's kind of hard to know if America is ready to stand up for what is right. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. We have to kind of hold the energy for that. We have to visualize in our mind the best possible outcome. Now, that does not necessarily mean, uh, I, for me, it means that Donald Trump loses. <laughs> so, for me. Um, but there are, let's say there are things that are beyond our knowing and reasons beyond our knowing. And while we don't really want to be open to that, we need to be open to that. We need to be able to, when the, when the ruling finally does come down, we need to be able to mobilize and move and see what it is, what's our next step. Uh, we're challenged. Remember, um, the United States is in the midst of its Pluto return and that's going to happen in 2022 and 2023. So no matter who wins, things are not going to really calm down for quite a while here in America. And really, you know, fighting for the soul of America. I think, uh, I think Biden is right about that. And we'll see what that's going to mean for us. But I did have a moment and it was really hard. And then I slept on it. <laughs> And I didn't really actually watch, but like, I would say five minutes before I went to, before I decided to retire, I can't say I went to bed, but I decided to retire. Um, I did watch a little bit of things coming in and nothing was settled. Nothing was, nothing was really decided, but I did have to face the fact that it's possible right, that um, the person that I'd like to see win, I mean, besides Bernie Sanders, of course, guys, you know who I am, right, um, might not. And that was a hard pill to swallow. Now, that doesn't mean that he won't. It doesn't mean that Trump will win. It doesn't mean that Biden will lose. It just means that I had to face that fear. And I am one to believe that love and light will will ex will dispel the darkness that keeps us from love. <laughs> and so uh, I have to say, between my husband Michael and my cat Charlie, I had enough snuggles so I could actually fall asleep. <laughs> so what I want to offer you this morning is uh, a snuggle. A virtual snuggle. I want you to feel how much you're loved and appreciated and that all your good feelings and all your good deeds and all your good thoughts uh, don't go for naught. It's cumulative and we are going to move through this period. It may not look exactly the way we want to see it, but it might. <laughs> so until we know, let's try to be as patient as we can be. Uh, I would limit the amount of uh, coverage that you uh, that you watch. See if you can get your your facts um, from places that are not going to um, pull on your insecurities and your emotions to the best of your ability. So that's what I want to say about that. Today is going to be tough. We're going to go from uh, this sort of spinning around in our head. And then we're going to move into the emotions of it. <laughs> and that's going to be an interesting experience. So we'll do it together. We'll walk this path together, guys. I'm not going anywhere. Um, I want to thank uh, the readers out there who are bravely pulling cards on this stuff. I don't know if I can. I might. I'll see. It's very hard. It's very hard from this place. I want to thank Mary Ann for revealing Light Tarot. And I want to thank... Amanda Ellis out of, uh, out of uh, England. Who, uh, those were the two, that's actually the first two things I listened to this morning. They are, they are appreciated by me and I know by many of 
uh, the other people that watch that watch me. And uh, I think it helps for them that they're so far away um, because it's a lot easier to have perspective the further away you are from a situation. Those of us in America are in the middle of it, so it's a lot harder. Um, so we have to, I think, work a bit harder when you're actually in the situation to raise your vibration high enough that you can get some perspective you or raise your perspective. So that's what I suggest to you guys. Like and subscribe. Uh, I did put out my November um, astrology video if you want to check that out. I do talk about um, the, this first week being one in which we really have to hold fast um, and wait until things really change. Next week is going to be a caulka, as we say here in Massachusetts. So uh, we're in for it, guys, but we're going to be in for it together. I want to tell you how much I love you and appreciate you. Take care, and I will see you uh, soon. Bye.